Hi friends, welcome to Miss Paula's Circle Time. I wanted to just take a minute to talk to the parents and let them know that, you know, sometimes these videos are a little bit long and at the beginning there's a lot of the academics with the letters and things. So feel free um, if your child isn't really into that because they're a little bit younger yet, um, to fast forward to the end where we have the story and songs and finger plays and stuff because they might really enjoy that part and that way you can keep their attention a little longer. I do the activities at the beginning, the academics for the letters and sounds because I'm really trying to make sure that my students that are moving on to kindergarten continue to get that information and are really prepared and keeping their, their um, you know, brains active and stuff with all of that stuff so that they're ready when they're moving on. Um, but I don't wanna bore my little ones that are a little bit younger and not ready for that. So feel free to fast forward if you'd like. All right, let's get started. Good morning, good morning, hello and how are you? I'm fine, I'm fine, and I hope that you are too. Let's stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right. Moving on to the days of the week. 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 There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday. And then there's Saturday. Days of the week. 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 Yesterday was tuck, tuck. Tuesday. Today is Wednesday and tomorrow is Thursday. But today is Wednesday and it is April and it, it was raining earlier. Right now it's not, but at my house it was raining earlier. So we're going to call it rainy today. April and we need to see what our pattern is. We're doing our A, B pattern again. Bunny, egg, bunny, egg, bunny, egg. Bunny egg, 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 bunny, it is a bunny. And it is number 29, April 29th, 2020. All right, so let's count to 29. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine. April 29, 2000 and 20. You know what is exciting? We were talking about how this month is April and we say April showers, bring May flowers. April is almost over. How many days left in April? This is the last day, so let's count and see how many we have left. One, two, only two more days, and then we're going to move on to a new month. We'll say bye, April. Hello, May. That's my birthday month. Okay, now moving on to the message board. You guys, you kindergartners that are getting ready for kindergarten are getting so smart. We have a lot of little lines that we have to fill in today because we don't have all the letters. What we want it to say is, today is Wednesday, April 29, 2020. It is rainy. So we have to fill in those empty lines. Today, it's just like t -t Tuesday. Do you know what letter that is? It's a letter we're gonna learn a lot about this week. T, -t, -t yes. So today, let me take my cap off here. T -t today is what well, Wednesday. Day Wednesday. That is the letter. Oh, I 
extending on it. S, it is like snake. Remember when I did our snake video with our snake Voorhees? S kind of looks like a snake and it makes a sound kind of like a snake. It says so that's what it is. Wednesday. So we need to make our S. April 29th, 2020. It. T, t, t. Do you hear the letter that goes there? It's our T again. It. See if you can figure this one out. Is it. It's our S like our snake is rainy. We did it. We wrote our whole message. Today is Wednesday, April 29th, 2020. It is rainy. Good job, boys and girls. Let's sing. Wednesday is the day. Wednesday is the day. I own the dairy. Oh, Wednesday is the day. April is the month. April is the month. Hi ho the dairy ho, April is the month. The 29th is the date, the 29th is the date. Hi ho the dairy ho, the 29th is the date. 2020 is the year, give a cheer. 2020 is a year. Hi ho the dairy ho, 2020 is a year. Nice work. All right, so we talked about our new letter today. Our new letter is S like the snake that we saw the other day, like star, and we learned about the star, didn't we? Twinkle, twinkle, little star. And sun, yesterday was a very, sun, or Monday was a very sunny day. All of those start with that letter S that makes a sound. We have a new shape today too. And our new shape, this is our green and it's the shape is a rectangle. A rectangle is kind of cool because it has two sides that are short and it has two sides that are long. So like a square, if you turn a square, no matter which way you turn it, it looks the same, right? Because all the sides are the same. With a rectangle, if I turn it like this, it looks different. So or if I turn it like this, then it's back to the beginning. But it matters which way it's standing. This is tall and this one is long. It's a rectangle. I do have a puppet that has a special name that helps us remember rectangle. And his name is Randy. Say hi to Randy Rectangle. Two sides short, two sides long. This is Randy Rectangle's song. Ready to do it with me? Two sides short. Two sides long, this is Randy Rectangle's song. Now you can remember a rectangle. And you can see how the rectangle is different than Sammy Square. Because when I turn Sammy Square, he still looks the same. When I turn the rectangle, he looks different. All right, thank you boys and girls. Well, the other day we read the story, The Very Hungry Caterpillar. It's a very good story. Today, we are going to retell the story, not by reading the book, but by using my days of the week strips and my little picture cards, okay? We're gonna start with the first part of the book. Remember, this is the title is The Very Hungry Caterpillar. And the author is Eric Carl, one of our favorites. I don't have a picture from the first page, so I will use the first page of the book to tell. Ooh. In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. See the egg? And there's the moon. It was nighttime. And he started, oh. I missed a page. One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up and pop, out of the egg came a tiny and very hungry caterpillar. So the sun came up. It was a new day. It was 
Sunday and out popped our little caterpillar. And he was very, very hungry. So he started looking for some food. On Monday, he ate through one apple. But he was still hungry. So on Tuesday, he ate through two pears, one, two, but he was still hungry. So on Wednesday, he ate through three plums, one, two, three, but he was still hungry. So on th, th, remember those two word, two letters together, make that th sound, th, Thursday, he ate through four strawberries. One, two, three, four. But guess what? You're right. He was still hungry. So what comes after Thursday? Can you remember? You got it. It is Friday, Friday. On Friday, he ate through five, ooh, they have the same sound, oranges. One, two, three, four, five. But he was still hungry. Man, that caterpillar can eat a lot, can he? Mm -hmm. So on, oh, there's that letter S again, like snake. Saturday, he ate through a lot of things. He ate through a piece of chocolate cake, an ice cream cone, a pickle, a piece of Swiss cheese, some Polish sausage, or I mean a slice of salami, sorry, a lollipop, a piece of cherry pie, some sausage, a cupcake, and a piece of watermelon. But now, <coughs> his tummy was feeling sick. Oh, that was a lot of junk to eat through. So the next day was the beginning of the week again. Sunday, oh, there's that S again. And on Sunday, he ate through one nice green leaf. That's more like what a caterpillar should eat. Not all that other junk food, huh? Now, though, he was not a little caterpillar any longer. Nope, like that little caterpillar any longer. Now, he was a great big caterpillar. Big this time, yes. And so that big caterpillar made himself a cocoon. And he got into his cocoon. Can you get in nice and tight? And he stayed there for a long time. And when he wiggled his way out of the cocoon, can you get out of the cocoon? <gasps> he was not a caterpillar anymore. He turned into a beautiful butterfly. Yes. Butterfly, butterfly, happy all day. Butterfly, butterfly, fly away. We're going to sing that whole song in just a minute. So at home, if you notice, my caterpillar, I made him green, yellow, green, yellow, green, yellow, green, yellow, green, yellow. That's a pattern, isn't it? It's an AV pattern, just like up here with bunny egg, bunny egg. Two things repeated over and over is an A-B pattern. Maybe at home you have something some, that you could cut out. And if you have some paper at home or you could do whatever you could find, two different things, make circles out of them and put them together and make an A-B pattern and make a caterpillar. That would be fun to do. If you have the supplies at home, give it a try. All right. Okay. Well, I told you we would sing the butterfly song. So I need to 
erase my message board. Where did my paper towel go? Here it is. Erase my message board. And we're going to use it for our butterflies so we can sing about the five little butterflies. Get all this off. Erase it, erase it, erase it. Okay, so we have one, oops, two, three, four, five. Do you remember this from the other day? It's a fun one. You can help me out by putting up your fingers at home for how many butterflies. Five little butterflies resting at the door. Oops. One flew away. And then there were four. Butterfly, butterfly, happy all day. Butterfly, butterfly, fly away. Four little butterflies sitting in a tree. One flew away. And then there were Three, butterfly, butterfly, happy all day. Butterfly, butterfly, fly away. Three little butterflies looking at you. One flew away and then there were two. Butterfly, butterfly, happy all day. Butterfly, butterfly, fly away. Two little butterflies, who, um, oh, I messed up. Two little butterflies sitting in the sun. One flew away and then there was one. Butterfly, butterfly, happy all day. Butterfly, butterfly, fly away. One little butterfly left all alone. He flew away and then there were none. Butterfly, butterfly, happy all day. Butterfly, butterfly, fly away. Good job. Let's do another one that has a certain number. We have five little ducks. So let me show you our five ducks. We have one, two, three, four, and five. Five little ducks. All right, ready? Five little ducks went out to play over the hill and far away. When the mother duck said quack, 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 four little ducks came waddling back. Only four left, put up four fingers, Four little ducks went out to play over the hill and far away. When the mother duck said quack, 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 three little ducks came waddling back. One, two, three. Three little ducks went out to play over the hill and far away. When the mother duck said quack, 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 two little ducks came waddling back. One, Two. Two little ducks went out to play over the hill and far away. When the mother duck said quack, 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 one little duck came waddling back. One. One little duck went out to play over the hill and far away. When the mother duck said quack, 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 no little ducks came waddling back. Zero. No, that's none. Z no little ducks went out to play over the hill and far away. When the daddy duck said quack, 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 five little ducks came waddling back. One, two, three, four, five. They listened to their daddy, didn't they? I hope you boys and girls at home are listening to both your mommy and daddy, or grandma or grandpa or aunt or uncle, or whoever is taking care of you. Okay, I have one more fun song to sing today. And it is Rain, Rain, Go Away. 
Now today in our song, we're gonna say, little Johnny wants to play, okay? But at home, you can put in your name. So I could say, if I was a little kid, I might say, little Paula wants to play. Or if my daughter was little, I might say, little Lauren wants to play. So you can put your own name into this song. It goes like this. Rain, rain, go away. Come again another day. Little Johnny wants to play. Rain, rain, go away. Can you sing that with me? Rain, rain, go away. Come again another day. Little Johnny wants to play. Rain, rain, go away. So if I were to put my name in, because my name is Paula, this is how it would sound. And you can put your name in at home. Rain, ra or rain, rain, go away. Come again another day. Little Paula wants to play. Rain, rain, go away. So you try that at home, okay? I don't have the best voice, but that's okay. Preschoolers don't care, do they? All right, boys and girls. Oh, the only thing I did not show you today, I just saw Lane here, was how cool my weather bear looks. He got all dressed up for the rain. See, he has on his rain hat and his rain coat and his rain boots and he even has rain drops on him and his umbrella. Doesn't he look all set for the rain? Mm -hmm. I think he wants to go out and play in the rain. So we didn't sing our weather song. We might as well do it now. What's the weather like today? Or what's the weather like today? Like today? Like today? What's the weather like today? Today is rainy. And that's what we put on our message board, wasn't it? All right, I think we are all finished. So I hope you had fun at circle time and I will see you back on Friday. Let's sing our goodbye song. It is time to say goodbye to all our friends. It is time to say goodbye to all our friends. It is time to say goodbye. It is time to say goodbye. It is time to say goodbye to all our friends. Bye friends, I'll see you on Friday.